everybody. It's Tech Tip Tuesday here at the Lexus Virtual Classroom, and we've got a shout out to one of our YouTube subscribers, S Griffin597. Thanks so much for this great question about lateral performance dampers. Now, when they asked me about this question, I thought, well, it's got something to do with ride comfort, but I don't know a whole lot more. I'm going to have to get back to you. So I did some serious research. Lexus is really big on reducing something called NVH, noise, vibration, and harshness. The whole concept is to try to create this incredible drive experience, no matter which Lexus model you're in. There are different features that help address these concerns. Number one, we have a lot of sound dampening material on the vehicle. You might find acoustic front glass on your Lexus, noise reducing wheels, finely tuned suspension systems, and lateral performance dampers. So since I wanted to know more and I wanted accurate information for you, I went straight to the top. My friend and top Lexus technical trainer from the Lexus College, Chad DeShane. Thanks so much, Chad, for getting back to us with some great information and for letting us know that this started with a partnership with Yamaha all the way back in 2013. So I checked out the global Yamaha resource page and found some great technical information. I also wanted to check in with some of our master certified technicians right here at the dealership. So if you have an F-Sport model vehicle or an ultra luxury package, you might have lateral performance dampers. So I'd like to show you what they look like and tell you a little bit more about what they do for the ride quality on your Lexus. So come on, let's learn together. So instead of being connected directly to the suspension system, they're actually pushed forward or back closer to the bumpers. Lateral, it's positioned side to side, and they have two attachment points on the chassis. Their job is to minimize these micro vibrations that could potentially take away from you enjoying your Lexus drive experience. Looking under a 2018 GS. 350. The lateral performance dampers are going to connect at two points to the chassis. You'll see a high performance shock absorber on either end. The shock absorber uses high pressure gas. Because this is pressurized, it's going to resist movement in. So let's talk about how this works. As you drive and you go over bumps, the wheel's gonna travel up and down. Well, when that wheel travels up and down, the suspension system is gonna try to handle as much of that vibration and harshness as it can. But vibrations can also travel through the chassis and the frame of the vehicle, which can then transfer into the steering feel, the seat, and then of course into you as the driver and you're experiencing momentum of that upward downward motion as your vehicle travels over bumps and different road surfaces. What Lexus does is they try to minimize as much of that as possible. Even on F-Sport and performance versions of vehicles, we still want you to have a comfortable Lexus-like ride. So let's take a little drive. I have an RX with the F-Sport package, which includes that F-Sport performance suspension system and front and rear lateral performance dampers. I also have a non F-Sport RX, so it does not include the performance dampers. Because I'm not on a track and I'm driving in real world conditions, it's gonna be a little difficult to try to perfectly recreate the drive in each vehicle, but I'll do my very best and I'll just give you the feedback that I can experience while I'm driving, so it might help you to have a better understanding of the differences in the RX with and without the F-Sport package and and the lateral performance dampers. Obviously, we've got a lot to consider. We have an F-Sport suspension system compared to a non-F-Sport suspension system. We do have 20 inch wheels on both vehicles, but the tires are different. So there's always a lot of factors to consider when you're comparing one vehicle to another, even when they're the same body style. Let's start out in the non-F-Sport RX. What most people are looking for in this vehicle with its unibody construction is a smooth, comfortable, quiet ride. Let's see. I can definitely tell that I'm going over quite a few seams in the road and some bumps. There's some construction in this area, but it's very comfortable. Not having any challenges. 
handling any of those bumps at all. So let's try the F-Sport. All right, now we are in the RX F-Sport with front and rear lateral performance dampers. Keep in mind, we've got those different tires, a completely different type of tuning for the suspension system. Even the seat design is a little bit different so that everything has just a sportier feel in general. And that's definitely going to impact how you feel while you're driving the RX. Let's go. We'll do the same drive that we did before. Still a very recognizable RX drive, so it's very comfortable, it's quiet, definitely handles like an F-Sport. So now we're back on that straightaway drive where we have a lot of scenes and some bumps in the road. And I can tell you that even though it does have a stiffer sport suspension, which I can feel, it's not in any way uncomfortable. So the overall takeaway here is that any Lexus is going to give you a smooth, comfortable ride. Then when you add an F-Sport or more performance-focused suspension system, you're able to achieve that without compromising on comfort by adding things like lateral performance dampers. If the package on your Lexus doesn't include lateral performance dampers, don't stress. All Lexus vehicle suspension systems are designed to give you a smooth, comfortable ride. If you want to dive into more technical detail, make sure to check the description of the video below, and I'm going to include the links for my research. Well, thanks so much for stopping by the Lexus Virtual Classroom today. Don't forget to tune in next time for Tech Tip Tuesday or explore some of our deep dive tutorials on your Lexus. Thanks again for dropping by. We'll see you next time.